In the footsteps of Jerry Seinfeld, Martin Lawrence, Tim Allen, Flip Wilson, a long list of others, Rondell Sheridan is making the jump from comedy clubs to television. He's starring in a new NBC show called Minor Adjustments, playing a child psychologist who finds it easier to give advice to other people's kids than to deal with his own. Okay. Concentrate. Use your imagination. What do you think the world would be like in the future? Um, there'll be new kinds of transportation. Good, good. Now get more specific. Like what? Like... There'll be cars without wheels that can fly at a thousand miles an hour. You mean airplanes? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. How about this one? Medical science will be so advanced that people will live hundreds of years. Great-grandfathers will be running in marathons. You better come back here, you whippersnapper. You think you can outrun me because you're only 102. <laughs> Rondell Sheridan, good morning. Good morning. Do I say congratulations? You can say congratulations. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank Whose you. idea was it for you to make this jump from comedy club to TV? Uh, I guess it was mine. No, it just, I was happy to be asked to the dance. Uh, people at Wood Thomas uh, said, we'd like to do a show with you involved. And my calendar was sort of open at the time. <laughs> <laughs> you were, you're also co-creator of this program, Yeah, right? it was uh, an idea that I had of playing a child psychologist, and I pitched it to them. and. We pitched it to NBC, and they said, yeah. Yeah, now, now I said earlier that, that, um, that this show is going to remind people of some other shows they've seen down the road because it's, it's, it's a family-oriented. It's a doctor who's practicing uh, in, a, in, in a location with an awful lot of doctors. Does it bother you when people say, hey, it, it reminds me in many ways of the original Bob Newhart show? Uh, no, and, and the coincidence is our, our pilot was uh, directed by Peter Bonnard, who played who Jerry, the, right. the dentist on the Bob Newhart show. Um, it... It, it, the show seems very familiar to people in many different ways. So I guess that's very good. Yeah. yeah. Who is, as you see him, your character on the show, Dr. Ron Ames, who is he? What's he about? Um, basically a guy who deals with children very well, treats them as adults uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis, who would think that he knows how to deal with all children because he's got that plaque on the wall that says psychologist. Yeah. But in reality, when you have kids, you have no clue how to take care of your kids. And his wife knows that perfectly. But I, I still walk around thinking, oh, I know how to take care of the kids. I have no clue. Now, now even though the show is, is on the schedule, in production, obviously going to go for a season, mm -hmm. um, you're still doing your stand-up act, aren't you? Yes. Well, I, I've how been, come? been doing it for 13 years. I can't, I don't, I can't shake it. I enjoy doing stand-up. It's, uh, it's my own little therapy to be able to get up to perform, to to, I, I can't go a week without doing it. Can I assume that stand-up, because of its immediate gratification, immediate feedback, is more satisfying to you than doing a television program? Um, it's a lot less stressful. I, I less know, stressful? Well, because I know the material that I'm doing. I've got a chance to do that over and over and over and over again. In the course of a week to do a show, you know, you, you have the faith that the writers have the material down, that, that everything is going to work out, but you don't know until that first show. You know, we taped two shows, so that 5 o'clock show was like, oh, wow, it, it, it all works. Yeah. Where do you want this to lead, Rondell? I mean, do you want to become a permanent fixture in primetime television? Are you hoping that primetime TV makes you a bigger hit on the comedy circuit? Do you want it to lead to feature films? Where's the, what's, the, what's the end game in this? All of the above, is that, is that rightfully so? I would, you know, actually, I would just love to take it a step at a time, and people watch the show and enjoy the show. Uh, people sit down with their family and watch the show and go, hey, this is a pretty good show. Yeah. Do we uh, say it airs on Sunday nights? Sunday night, 7.30. You know, I have a little, a little present for you. I uh, felt oh, really quick, bad quick. that it was your birthday. So I got you this little Today Show cup. Thank and, you very uh, much. Got nice you some cookies from the green room. I figured, you know. Very kind yeah, of you. It's the thought that counts. It, it wasn't even a big thought. I just <laughs> grabbed it and brought it right out. <laughs> We're going to take a break. I'm broken up. This is Today on NBC.